with the KX News Storm Team. 548 on your Wednesday morning here. Um, Stone, I promise I did not bring any snowballs today to throw yeah. at you because we didn't get, you As know, much. the larger amount that we could yeah. have. Yeah, it definitely shifted east. You're mm -hmm. seeing snow melts out there east in Lafargo, yeah. uh, east of Jamestown, looking in that five to six inch range. Okay. So they got more there. It was expected mm -hmm. as that storm started to shift. Yep. Uh, and we got help that that first span sort of died out as it got to central portions of the state. We're happy. No snowballs. Yeah, no okay. more snowballs for now. <laughs> for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll oh. start this off on our road conditions right now. No travel advice still uh, to the south portion of the state, all the way uh, from really Dickinson all the way east to Fargo. Uh, just that snow cover roads. Not much wind, so blowing snow won't be that much of an issue. Road crews will be able to catch up with this. Uh, but again, still dealing with that snow covered road, so if you get out and about, uh, be a little bit safer. Uh, roads still not perfect. And we're also seeing some fog this morning. Now, visibility map is showing areas out to the west, northwest with that fog, and the southwest now. Uh, we are also seeing fog down to the south central in areas of like Bismarck that maybe just not showing at the center, but ar around town on some of the cams are, are showing some of that fog. So we are going to be dealing with that uh, too this morning. A lot of moisture in the air right now. Temperatures or satellite and radar is showing light cloud cover most of the state. Uh, some of that fog is showing up on this satellite and radar. Also some light snow is going to be possible uh, through this morning and through most of the day. Temperatures right now, uh, teens and single digits for most. We also have some uh, below zero temperatures out to the far west right now, but a lot of a little bit of warming up to do today. Uh, uh, still below average for most. Wind speeds and directions show us uh, west wind 5 to 15 miles per hour winds a little bit stronger out here to the east and that's because that low pressure system still influencing uh, areas out there so a little bit heavier winds there but winds will calm down most of the week if not all of it pick back up maybe saturday as uh, a cold front rolls through on the back side of that wind chills right now single digits teens uh, across much of the state wind chills might not be a factor the next couple of nights as we continue to warm up into the 30s we have some nights uh, up in the teens with our lows so warmer conditions less winds not have to worry about those wind chills. Highs this afternoon in the 20s for practically everyone. We could see a lower 30 to the south southwest as we get through uh, the afternoon. Then precision cast shows that system finally moving out as we get through the day. We'll have some clouds. We'll have some light snow possible uh, and we'll have sun. It's, it's going to be a mix of everything throughout the day today. As we enter Thursday, cloud cover will start to lift in the morning. We'll actually have some sun uh, through the afternoon and then as we get Friday, high pressure system starts to influence us. We'll see light cloud cover, but mostly sunny skies for most of the day there. Then we hit Saturday and that's where it's all going to change. We'll actually have cloud cover start to build. Could see some light snow not showing up on precision cast, but it is going to be there. And then we hit Sunday. That's where more of that light snow will start to maybe show itself through the day into the afternoon. And then Monday hits and actually light snow because maybe a common theme across some of the areas. It's still going to be light, not much accumulation here, but you will see it through uh, the weekend. Your temperature outlook for next week is showing us, well, colder uh, than average temperatures and we are are seeing at 20s and 30s next week. That's still below average. And your precip outlook right around normal for this time of year. We'll start off with that snow chance Monday and next week a little bit drier than average. Uh, your Dickinson three day forecast got us at 26 today, 34 tomorrow, 40 on Friday. Williston 25 today, 36 tomorrow, 37 on Friday. Your Minot seven day forecast. Well, that's also going to show that warm up uh, to the 30s tomorrow and for Friday. Could even see it Saturday. We've been jumping back and forth between the 20s and the 30s and Sunday and the start of next week back to the 20s. Your business Mark seven day forecast 20s the next two days get up to the 30s for Friday even Saturday could see it uh, back to the 20s by the end of the week. Oh man even on those uh, cooler days in the 20s if we can just get some of that sun out. Yeah well, you know a couple days ago Monday was yeah we were in the teens our high was upper teens mm -hmm. still was nice because we had all that sun. Exactly we had actually a little melting. Yes we did. Thanks to the sun. Yes. All right thank you Stone and plenty of stories ahead.